The distance between Karyatin and Damascus is about 119 kilometers. That is 74 miles. Normally, it would take about two hours to get there, but we travel through homes, making the journey twice as long. Now we're on our way to Karyatin, but this time we first go to homes and then turn uh, southeast because it's been reported that since uh, ISIL retreating from Karyatin, they actually uh, gained some op uh, positions near that town so that this made the road last time we took unsafe. Leaving homes, buildings are replaced by desert and utility poles. Before we arrive in Karyatin, we pass a town torn by war. It's hard to imagine what Karyatin would be like after three months' time in peace. This is the entrance of Karyatin, and as you can see, there's no one here, but a few months ago when we were here, we were actually surrounded by soldiers. And in this corner, we actually saw a tank a few months ago, but now it's all gone. And uh, we were just informed that all the soldiers has been replaced by some uh, local security personnel who's in charge for the security here in Karyatin. As a matter of fact, except for some few checkpoints far away, we can even hardly see people in uniforms today. The town itself remains in ruins. All around, relics of war lay on the ground, just as they did three months ago. It's not difficult to see how fierce this battle was. As we walk further, we see destroyed homes everywhere. As you can see, this city is actually still in ruin and it's been reported that 800 to 1,000 people has just returned in Karyatin, but only half of them are actually permanently living here. And uh, we've been told that the uh, electricity supply is still not available yet, and uh, they are hopefully that they can resume all the electricity uh, in next month. But as we can see here today, it's really, really difficult to live here in such a condition. Just beyond these ruins, we could see homes where people had returned, and we were invited into one of them. The resident told us he has no electricity and relies on sunlight during the day, but at night, he says, his family had only a flashlight. A local shop provides residents with critical supplies. Is this the only shop here, or? No, there is uh, more around in the country. Maybe uh, that way, or that way, uh -huh. up here, uh, strong because I have ice, uh, vegetable, everything, tea, uh, small, uh, tobacco, everything. Okay. Except for the living conditions, another major concern is ISO. Actually, ISO was defeated in Karyatin, but they are still around this town. And we were informed that there are scattered fightings from time to time in the past few months around this area. So it's really difficult to say that ISO wouldn't come back. For now, Karyatin is getting just a taste of peace and remains in the shadow of war and terror with no guarantees for the future. With time, Perhaps more residents will feel emboldened to return home. Xu Dezhi, CCTV, Karyatin, Syria.